the Berlin Wall had fallen, the Cold War was over, we were without a really good villain. Uh, we didn't quite know what to be afraid of. What do we have to worry about next? Hey, what about what's way out in space? <laughs> there are regular folk who tell you stories and you say to yourself, why would they lie? My mother and I have both had close encounters of the fourth kind, also known as abduction experiences. We've undergone physical examination, mind scan process, and reproductive processes. Nobody ever lost money investing in the paranoia of the American people. And The X-Files becomes an incredible hit. The show that I created sort of capitalized on a general sort of free-floating anxiety. X-Files taps into this idea that there are things out there that the government knows of that the government doesn't want us to know about. UFO, UFO, With the help of the internet, the culture of conspiracy spreads like some kind of alien virus. And in 1995, shocking evidence of an alleged government conspiracy emerges. when a documentary producer claims to have gotten hold of mysterious footage from an equally mysterious army cameraman. In 1947, he'd photographed what was the crash of a vehicle. He didn't know whether it was a spaceship or a flying saucer, but his job was to photograph the recovery of the vehicle and everything that occurred, including the autopsies. The tape reignites suspicion of what really went down at Roswell Air Force Base, New Mexico, in 1947. The government is forced to respond. The Air Force issue two reports that claim there were never any UFOs at Roswell. They had been dropping test dummies into the desert. The people there saw body bags come out because the dummies were put into body bags to protect them. But the government denials didn't stop people from believing the tape was real. Why shouldn't they believe it? It's real. Except for a few tiny things. We reconstructed scenes. The person who helped create the creature is a special effects expert. Wild paranoia against imagined enemies would come to define the 90s.